Yeah, hello. This is a knife overview. I'm gonna show you a couple of knives right here. I'm using my homemade monopod. As you can see, this knife is a little bit dirty. I don't care to clean them. You get what you see. <laughs> As you can see, this is a little bit stiff. I got this from a flea market for $15. I always wanted one, so I did buy it. As you can see, it's kind of loose on me, but it's for somebody who has fat fingers. Yeah. Pretty cool. Seems like I got less of a wider view. I don't know why. Look at that. That's just my. Uh, Dragon Claw is what I'll call it. I don't know what they're called exactly. But they're just for looks. Don't ever use them for self defense or anything. They're usually just for looks. There's my claw blade. I guess I'll call it a claw blade. Reminds me of a, a knight's gauntlet. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got it from the flea market for $15. And I can't find it. And I paid at least like about the same price for this. This is a, a switch blade. It's called a, as you can see, it's called a wild boar knife. Silver. Wood and silver. And tactical rescue outdoors. It's Tac Force. Behind that logo, it says it's a Tac Force. If you, yeah. I got it. Funny enough, I got this from a from a hardware store. I can't remember what the hardware store is called. If I try to say what it, what it's called, then I'll probably be wrong. This knife has an extremely sharp edge. Not a. My phone's ringing. I'm not going to answer it right now because I'm busy. Yeah, as you can see, I already opened it. And here's this. I'm just going to show you it in the packaging. And it's Tac Force Speedster model. Made in China. It's handmade from China. Yeah, that's the box. I'm going to show you the knife. I already see the box. That looks professional. Yeah, it's my... It's called a wild boar. So it's my pack force switchblade. As you can see, it's kind of bent right there. I don't know why I got it like that. It's funny enough, this this part right here hit the square, hit the ground dead on when I was doing a ride wheeling on a bike. And as you can see, no gouges. Same side, except this side didn't hit the ground. Oh yeah, and it comes with a deep carry pocket clip. I took that off. Because it, <coughs> these knives are illegal to carry. Here in Kentucky, they're illegal to carry. So yeah, I'm sure you're going to see a blade. Oh yeah, and this is cherry wood right here. I don't know why it's got thumb studs. It makes no sense. See why I call it? They call it a speedster. <laughs> Man, I, this doesn't st say st stiletto. If you can read it, just put it in the comments. Focus, focus. But yeah, as you can see, Tac Force Speedster model. Trademark. <laughs> and on the other side. 
PS 428 440 stainless steel USA design handmade in China handmade meaning not mass produced These will probably be rare knives in about a couple of years. I went ahead and grabbed one before they became hard to find. But yeah, that's sharp. That's why I had to check myself. Four forty stainless. I have auto focus on. It does very good at focusing. You can see it's like a fucking liner lock. I love this knife. And, and it comes, it comes, uh, factory, factory sharp. The sharpness level is like fucking razor sharp. Hair, almost haircutting sharp. Not quite though. Let's see if I can't find something. This is the Serena piece of paper I grabbed. I'm not very good at the paper cut test. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm terrible at the paper cut test, but believe me, it's very sharp. It came with a pocket clip. Sorry for the shape. I actually hit the monopod. But yeah, this is my Tac Force knife. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. I'm just copying off of what other people say. <laughs> I don't like to be a copier. I like to be a original. But yeah. It's my Tac Force 9. This will stay up. There you go. It's my Tac Force 9. And that's my finger blade. Like I said, leave a comment below. Like, whatever, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Subscribe. I don't give a fuck. Okay, goodbye.